Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. And today we're going to be talking about air assist for your laser module. Now I'm going to use my standard compressor from my shop to do the job. I know there are some fish pumps that are marketed towards this purpose, but I thought to myself, why spend the money when I already have an air compressor in my shop? So I'm going to show you how I did it on mine and a couple test pieces. So let's get to it. Okay, everybody, here is the machine that we're going to be working with on this air assist. This is a machine that I built myself. Um, it's mostly 3D printed parts, aluminum extrusion. For the control panel on this, it is the MKS DLC32 um, version 2.0, I believe. I've had this for I don't know, about a year or so, and the laser that I'm using is the Nija N4630, and it's a 5.5 watt optical laser. So I've been doing some testing with this, and um, with the air assist, and also with an external power source, to just kind of see what kind of differences it may be because according to the manual on the MKS DLC 32 it is showing that uh, 12 volt max uh, output is 12 watt which is not enough to power a laser but after doing some testing with and without using the, the power on board it's been relatively the same so I haven't been able to see any difference but I have an upcoming a uh, new laser coming in that is more powerful. It has a dual diode 11 watt, and I'll be doing a review on that coming up. So keep an eye out on that. But for now, let's take a look at this air assist using a uh, air, standard air compressor. So first off, we have a water separator. Um, this is a pretty cheap one on Amazon. I'll have the link down below. It, I don't really have much of a problem with water on my compressor. But anyway, uh, that's it. And I'm setting my PSI to about 10 uh, PSI. And then I have hanging off of that, this little air valve right here that allows me to turn the air on and off as I need. And then it's a eight millimeter to four millimeter adapter. I just so happen to have uh, these parts. And this is a four millimeter outside diameter tube going over here to the head and then I made a little um, bracket to attach the tube to just a little homemade jobby just for the purpose of this test the newer versions of these have a uh, air assist uh, set in them and I'll do a link to that as well but anyway that's the air assist set up pretty easy and we'll be testing that out here in a minute so let's get on to the test <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. All right, we're all done here with the tests. Um, this one here at the top is without or with the air assist. And as you can see, it's pretty clean. And on the fourth class, I made it all the way through this uh, piece of material. Now, if we look down here at the bottom, you can see without the air assist, it's not quite as clear. The edges are a little more burnt, and I did not make it all the way through um, any of those passes. And then on the bonsai tree, you can see a lot more detail out of the one with air assist. And this is with the standard compressor. So let's take a look at the back side real quick. You can see on this one, it almost made it through on that fourth pass and it partially made it through on the third, but nothing on the first and second. Now on this one, and you can see that it made it all the way through on the fourth one, clean cut. And on this one, three, I could probably get it out. It, just a couple little pieces holding on. And the two made it partially through this. So you can see the air assist really helps. And you get a lot cleaner looking cuts with it. All right, everybody, that's a wrap for this video. And as you can see, the air assist with a compressor works just fine. You don't need that extra expense to make it happen if you already have an air compressor. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I have some more videos coming up with a dual diode laser module and building the new laser machine. And I'm sure you'll enjoy it. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on What's Next DIY.